Chapter 9 More About Email and Internet This chapter covers Create an email account List benefits of email Know how email travels List the applications of an email account Learn the applications of internet Introduction Email or electronic mail is a way of receiving and sending messages from one computer to another computer anywhere across the world, which may incorporate text, music or pictures, files. It is one of the fastest and most cost-effective means of communication. To receive or send an email, you require an email account and the address of the receiver. For instance, xyz at gmail.com is an email address in which xyz is the username or login name, gmail.com is the domain name of the service provider and at the rate is the symbol pronounced as at the rate. How to create an email account? There are several programs such as Yahoo, Gmail, Rediff Mail, etc. that offer email accounts for free. To create an email ID in www.gmail.com, follow the given steps. Step 1. Ensure that you are connected to the Internet. Open any web browser. Step 2. Type www.gmail.com in the address bar and press the Enter key. The home page of www.gmail.com appears. Step 3. Look for the Sign in button and click on it. Step 4. Type in the desired account name in the desired login name box. If the account name you have entered is already used by someone else, you receive a message along with a list of suggestions. Step 5. Fill in all the entries correctly and click the Next Step button to submit your form. A new window appears with a confirmation message for your email account. Step 6. Click Continue to Gmail to open your email account window. Benefits of Email Email is a form of technology which has changed the face of modern communication. The characteristics which make emailing services the most popular and useful tool available on Internet are Easy to use. Email is the simplest form of communication. It also assists us in managing our contacts and immediately maintaining mail history. Speed. Email is delivered immediately anywhere throughout the world. No other service matches the email in terms of speed. Secure and reliable. Email is one of the most secure means of communication and consistent efforts are also being made to improve the security of electronic mails. Conversational and informal. The language used in emails is very simple and thus makes the communication informal. Because receiving and sending mail takes less time, therefore, it can also be used as an important tool for interaction. Environment friendly. Postal mails use paper as a means to send letters. Email, hence, saves enough numbers of trees from being axed. It also saves fuel required in transportation. Advertising tool. Email is also frequently used by companies to advertise their products. How email travels. To send an email. You require a connection to the internet and access to a mail server. The standard protocol used for sending an internet email is known as SMPT, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It functions in conjunction with POP, Post Office Protocol Servers. When you send an email, your computer towards it to an SMTP server. The server in turn looks at the email address and forwards it to the recipient's mail server where it is stored until the address retrieves it. Facts to learn Emails can also save your money because you can send a message rather than placing a long distance phone call. An email address is a set of characters that uniquely recognizes the location of your internet mailbox. Applications of an email account To access your email account, 
you are required to log in or sign in. Step 1. Open the website in which you have created your account. In our case, it is www.gmail.com. Step 2. Enter your login name or username and password in appropriate boxes. Step 3. Click on Sign In button. Your account window comes up. Compose Mail This option is used to write an email. Step 1. Click on Compose button. The Compose window comes up. Step 2. Enter the address of the receiver's email ID in To Area. If you desire to send a copy of the same message to some other persons, enter their email address in CC, Carbon Copy Area. If you desire to send the same message to other persons without letting them know about the fact that others also have received the same message, type their addresses in BCC, Blind Carbon Copy Area. Step 3. Enter subject of the mail in the subject area. Step 4. Type the contents of your message in the space given. Step 5. Click on the Send button. Attaching a file You can send files such as voice messages, pictures, videos and other documents as an attachment with your email. To attach a file in www.gmail.com, follow the given steps below. Step 1. Click on Link in the Compose window, available just below the subject area. A dialog box comes up. Step 2. Select the file to be attached. Step 3. Click on the Open button. Wait while your file is being attached. You see the name of your attached file and its size also in the Compose window. Step 4. Click on the Send button. Facts to learn The attachment process can take some time according to the internet speed and the size of the file. You can attach more than one file in one email. Inbox This contains all your received mails. The number along with the inbox link signifies the number of unread or new mails. To read a mail, follow the given steps below. Step 1. Click on the Inbox option. Step 2. Click on the mail to be opened and read the message. Facts to learn Facts to learn. The unread mails are always highlighted in opening an attachment. The mails with an attachment are displayed with a paper clip icon. To open an attachment, follow the given steps below. Step 1. Open your account and click on Inbox option. Click on the mail with an attachment. The mail opens with the message and the list of attached files. Step 2. If there are more than one attached files, click on Download All Attachments to download all the attached files on your hard disk. Step 3. The File Download dialog box comes up. Click on the Save button. Specify the location and click on Save button. Step 4. After completion, the Download Complete dialog box comes up. Click on Open Folder button to view the downloaded files. Step 5. Double click on the zip file. You see the files you have received as an attachment. Double click to open the needed file. Facts to learn. A zip file has one or more files that have been compressed to decrease file size. Reply. You reply to received message with the help of this option. To reply to a message, open the mail and click on the link Reply. Now, type your message and click Send. Forward. You can forward a copy of a received email to other people with the help of this option. To forward a message, open the mail and click on the forward link. Now, enter the address of the receiver and click on send. Bin. All the deleted mails automatically move to this option. You can restore the deleted mails from bin within 30 days. To delete a mail, select the mail by clicking on the checkbox on the left of the mail and click Delete button. To restore a deleted mail, 
follow the given steps below. Step 1. On the left pane, click the arrow next to More and select Bin option. The bin opens. Step 2. Select the mail you desire to restore. Step 3. Click on Move to button and choose Inbox from the list to restore your mail back to your inbox. Sign out. After completing your task, never forget to sign out from your account or else other people can access your account. Sign out. Click the link available on the web page. Note, in some email sites, sign out is also written as log out. It can be available anywhere on the form as placed by the designer of the site. Introduction to Internet the Internet, also known as the Net, is an electronic communication network. It is one of the largest networks that links millions or billions of computers all over the world. You can access this network via communication devices and media, such as modem, cables, telephone lines and satellites. Internet is one of the major reasons why people buy computers these days. Through the Internet, Society has access to information from all around the globe. The advantage of the Internet is that you can use it from a computer anywhere, at home, at work, at school or at a restaurant. Applications of Internet More than 1 billion people around the world use the Internet daily for a variety of reasons. This includes reading news, searching information, chatting with other people, making friends, sharing data and information, shopping, banking, playing games and listening to music or watching movies. Facts to Learn The Internet began in the late 1960s as a research project sponsored by the U.S. Defense Department's Advanced Research Project Agency, ARPA. Stay informed Internet is a valuable research tool. It gives you access to information on any subject of interest. You can use Internet's search facility to search just about any topic you can think of. This search information can help you with a school project or a presentation at work. Email, electronic mail. The electronic mail enables us to exchange messages with people around the world, including friends, family members, colleagues, customers and even people you meet on the internet. Email is quite fast, easy and inexpensive. Entertainment The internet offers many different forms of entertainment. You can find scenes from the latest films, watch live matches and listen to music. Programs you can find thousands of programs that can be used on your computer, such as word processors, drawing programs, games and accounting programs. Buy and sell. You can order products on the internet, even while sitting at home. You can purchase items such as books, flowers, music CDs, pizza, stocks and used cars. Chat. The chat allows you to exchange the typed messages with another person on the internet. A message you send will instantly appear on the other person's computer. Socialize with others. You can join social networking sites on the internet that enable you to connect with people who share similar personal or professional interests. On most social networking sites, the members are connected to each other as friends, friends of friends and so on. Social networking is one of the web's most popular pastimes with sites such as Facebook and MySpace boasting over 100 million members each. Play games. On the internet, you can play many different types of online games. Searching information on the internet. The internet is home to many web pages. So, if you want to visit any particular page, then how do you know where to visit? There are free websites called search engines that enable you to quickly search the web pages that you want to visit. You can search the web either by going directly to a search engine site or by using the search feature built into your browser. Summary 
Email or electronic mail is the way of sending mails from one computer to another computer anywhere across the world. You can send voice messages, pictures, etc. as an email attachment to other persons. Inbox consists of all the received messages. You can forward the same message or reply to a message to any number of people. Bin contains all the deleted messages. It is mandatory to sign out from your account to protect your privacy. Internet is one of the most important reasons due to which the people purchase computers nowadays. The chatting permits you to exchange typed messages with another person on the internet. Google is known as the most popular search engine. Dogpile is known as a meta search engine, which signifies that it receives the results from multiple search engines.